Hello guys and welcome to another video by Get Set Python. This is the third video of web scraping series and today we will be scraping list of hackathons from this website. If you are web scraping for the first time, see the introduction video mentioned below to install dependencies required. So without any delay, let's get started. First of all, import beautiful soup and request library. Then send an HTTP request using request.get function and in the arguments pass this URL. So copy this URL and paste it here. These steps are common in all the web scraping scripts. Now create a soup object using beautiful soup and in the arguments pass response.txt and lxml which is the parser library. Now we have to extract all the hackathon details from this website. So inspect here. Now we will locate the element containing hackathon details. So we can see that as we hover over each div with class event teaser, the element that it is representing is a different hackathon. So each div with this class locates a hackathon. So we will locate all hacks by using soup.findall function and in the arguments we will pass the name of element that is div here and its class name. So copy this class name event teaser and paste it here. This will find all these types of divs and store them in all hacks. Now we have to iterate over each hack and find the necessary details. So using a for loop for hack in all hacks we can process things further. But we want to keep a counter of the number of individual hackathons like 1, 2 and so on. So we will use enumerate function and it will give us two things. First the counter as an integer and second the item of list that is our hack. So now for i comma hack in enumerate all hacks. Here i will be the counter and hack will be our div element. But this counter will start from 0 by default. So we will write 1 in it to make it start from 1. Then we will find the desired details from each hack like time, its name, its description and its location. So in each div we will see which element stores time and we will find it using find function. So on hovering we can see that div with class two columns time locate time. So time is hack.find and in the arguments we will pass name of the element that is div and its class. Then we will hover to find the name of hackathon. So moving inside and on hovering we can see that name is present inside an element called h4 and description inside h5. So name is hack.find and we will pass element name that is h4. It doesn't contain any class but no issues as it is the only h4 present in this div and description is hack.find and pass h5. Now we have to locate the location of hackathon. So on hovering we can see that location is present inside element with class name two columns. So location is hack.find and in the arguments pass element name that is div and its class. 
So copy the class and paste it here. Now we will see these details one by one by printing them. But we have found all the elements with tags. But what we want is the text part inside them. So we will use dot text after each element to get the text part. So applying dot text to each of the element found and then we will print it. Now let's see how this works. So we are printing time, name, description, location one by one. So running this script, well, my internet seems a bit slow. And here we have got our result. But you can see that we have got some unwanted new lines and spaces that we didn't printed but were present in the elements itself. So to remove them, we will use replace function and replace every new line character that is slash n with an empty quotes. So applying this replace to each element. Let's see the results again by running the script. Well, the new lines are removed, but we still have some unwanted white spaces. And to remove them, we will use strip function and it will remove all the white spaces. So applying it to all the elements and running the script again. This time we have got the desired result. Our script is done here, but let me tell you an additional thing that makes this script a bit more professional. Instead of using these separate print lines, we can merge them in one and use dot .format function. Let's see how it works. Here, format will take each variable and substitute it in these curly braces. So, let's print our counter first. But format takes only string arguments to convert i to string using str. So now let's see how it works. So I'm just running this script again. Well, you can see that we have got our i and a dot after that as we wrote there. Now printing name in similar fashion by passing name in format and adding another pair of curly braces. So you can see that we have got our counter, a dot and name followed by space as we printed in this argument. Now printing the description, time and location one by one by adding curly braces for each pair. And now we will run the script again. So let me remove these lines first. And now running the script again and we can see that we have got the result but it's not properly formatted. So we will add new lines. So 
adding new line after the second brace that is of name and another after third one that is description and another one after fourth that is time well let me just add two new lines after location to separate each hackathon so you can see that we have got our desired output with proper formatting and a number again each of the hackathon so this is the whole script to scrape hackathon details and you can see that we have got all the 20 hackathons with name, description, time, location, etc. Let's see the whole code again. So let me summarize the steps again for you. First import beautiful soup and request library. Then send an HTTP request to this URL using request function and create a soup object from that response. Now inspect the web page and locate the element you want using find or find all function when finding one element or multiple elements of the same type respectively. Then iterate over each element in case of find all and find the desired elements present inside it. Use dot text function to retrieve text part of element. Use replace function by replacing slash n with empty quotes and use strip function to remove unwanted spaces. You will be using replace function more often than not because many websites contain slash n for proper formatting. Then print the desired elements with proper formatting. So this is how we can scrape hackathon details from a website. Forget the length of this video. Our code is just 15 lines and once you will get used to it, this will be just a matter of minutes for you to scrape anything that you want. That's it from this video guys but we will be back soon with another video. If you have any ideas regarding web scraping or want me to scrape any particular website, let me know in the comments below and if found useful, I will try to come up with it. Till then, stay tuned. Bye-bye.